Hello. In this video, we're going to see how to calibrate cameras in RAP 4D. Using the calibration, we can find the camera's intrinsic parameters, such as field of view, optical center, and lens distortion, and extrinsic parameters, like camera relative position. From the top menu, let's select 4D tools, then stereo camera calibration. In order to calibrate two cameras, we need to synchronously capture a checkerboard sequence from each of them. We can load checkerboard sequences either from a set of images or from a video file. In this case, I'm going to use a video. Let's go ahead and load up the checkerboard sequence from the top camera. Let's do the same for the bottom camera. Here's what our calibration sequence looks like. Now we need to manually select a set of good calibration frames where the checkerboard is completely visible. Once we find such frame, we can click the Add Frame button. Alternatively, we can just click the spacebar. The selected frame will be marked with green on the timeline. So we go spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. It's important to pick frames where the checkerboard is both nearer to and further from the camera. We also need to select the frames with the checkerboard covering the left, the right, the top, and the bottom sides of the image. Try to avoid frames where the checkerboard is not completely visible by one or both the cameras. Let's pick a few more frames. I think this should be enough frames. Now we can click this button and move on to the next step. Here we need to specify the number of rows and columns in our checkerboard. It's very important to set the correct size of the checkerboard cells, which in this case is one centimeter. You can export and import your custom checkerboard presets if needed. With this done, let's click the next button and wait for the calibration to complete. All right, here you can see the results of the checkerboard detection. Whenever the checkerboard cannot be detected, such frames are marked in red. In this case, it happened because of the strong highlight on the checkerboard. Having a few red frames is completely fine. In the top left corner of each view, you can see the intrinsic parameters of the camera. Now we can use this button to export the calibrated cameras to files. Let me specify the paths for our files. I'm going to create a folder called Camera Calibration. Let's call the file top.json. Let's call the second camera file bottom.json. In addition to saving the cameras, you may want to save the calibration project as well. You can go to the File menu and click Save Project to be able to return to your calibration project later. Finally, we can export the cameras directly to wrap 4 d by using the Export button. The dialog asks us to select the Export folder. I'm going to create a new folder and call it Export. We'll leave all the settings in the dialog as they are and click Export. Now we can close the calibration window. Here you can see our calibrated cameras and the checkerboard position in every calibration frame. If we go to the visual editor and select the Merge Image Left node, you can see a checkerboard image rendered through the camera and composed on top of the actual camera frame. As you can see, the render and the image match very accurately. We are going to use the calibrated cameras later in many parts of the processing pipeline. That's it for this video. See you in the next tutorial.